Greetings and welcome to another let's play of the Journeyman Project Pegasus Prime. Wait on. Hang on, did I just finish this? Yeah. Let's see. Mars Colony, World Science Center, Norad 6. Great Scott! Arthur, have you been playing with the Temporal Circus again? Alright, that's enough of that. Welcome to another alternate Thursday presentation of the Journeyman Project Pegasus Prime. Right, so I had pretty much uh, stopped caring about this game <laughs> because I finished it and uploaded it and the whole series is complete. Mostly I like it. There's some annoyances that I have uttered about the game. Which you can uh, see on my channel. I'll just uh, keep moving out to keep it from uh, recycling the intro. <coughs> uh, and that's that was that, and that's where I pretty much intended to leave all of this until I checked my uh, GOG page and saw that this this game had received an update. I think, so I think I checked it out because one particular feature of the update interested me somewhat. <laughs> Just let me just for one thing, thing say, I will not be replaying this game just because I have uh, because of the update. But I did feel it was uh, interesting enough to show you all. So let's uh, go in in here, and we'll skip all of this. Yeah, no, we're not going to do that. We are definitely not listening to you. Get up. Now, now, in order to get what you need to get, what, what I wanted to show you, it's basically an easter egg that's been uh, introduced into the game. I don't know if it was originally in there, because, like I said, I don't have the original game. But <laughs> I thought it was kind of nice to show. Alright, so you move over to the uh, food replicator. Good morning, Mr. Blackwood. Please make a selection. Alright, then you hold down the E key. And you get a nice glass of orange juice, just like I showed you in the original Let's Play. And you get a cornbread. I'm thinking Joyride! I'm sorry, but that painting just sucks. So then he says, you get... Gage, have you been listening to a word I've said? Gage, remember the smooth, sultry voice? It's me, Arthur! The Robin to your Batman, the Jekyll to your... Uh, heckle, the thing to your thing. They've reintroduced Arthur into this game. And I can't say in any express in any words how happy that makes me that he's in here, even though he has no reason to be here. He doesn't really do anything uh, that I have noticed. Uh, don't, I haven't played through the game again with him, but just having him here makes me so happy. <laughs> now you can get the words of wisdom. Now we're getting somewhere. But from what I've uh, seen. From the little bit of the ex experiment, he's basically just um, canned answer the things, uh, just sound bites of Arthur that's been played randomly. I'm not entirely sure they, that any of them have been uh, uh, actually made to work with the game properly. Current cleaning mode, gentle cycle. Durothane microweave setting. Estimated time to completion, approximately three hours. Gage, please tell me these came with the apartment. See, like that. And from what I've tested, that's pretty much uh, the sort of responses you can expect with Arthur on your team. 
And had I known or had this function been available during my original Let's Play, I would have definitely turned it on. Because for one thing, he is much less annoying than the original AI, which of course you can still switch back to. Alright, that's pretty much enough of that. Let's go back to the main menu for a moment. Now, I don't know uh, what other easter eggs there might be hidden in here. Uh, from what I read on the forum discussing this particular subject, there might be uh, an easter egg in the interface overview, but I haven't found it, so uh, I can't show it, and I'm too lazy to go bother to look for it now. But, if you feel like it, go for it. Play with Arthur. He is definitely much more fun. <laughs> And would have made my my let's play much much more interesting to watch, I, I gather. Anyway, thank you for watching. See you for the next show. Don't do that.